Ready to go to the mother flippin' moon? Well, too bad, because that's what we're doing. Ah, this episode. What the heck? I just fell out of the sky. I just fell out of the space or the atmosphere or whatever. And I landed on the moon. And hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is DuckTales. We're on the mother duckin' moon. Uh, and the gravity is like the exact same as it is back on Earth? That is not at all what I expected. Man, all these people who try to teach you about science and shit, they're just clearly lying to you. I bet the Earth is flat as well. There's no, you know, reduced gravity on the moon. That's just a myth. How am I supposed to get by that guy when he's just being a bully? Okay, maybe this is how you do it. Like Montel Jordan. Oh, and the moon ducks drop ice cream for you, just as they do on Earth. Anyway, this is the moon level. Uh, it's got some memorable music, and um, I guess so does the rest of the game. But I already found a key to the UFO. This level actually has multiple parts. There are like things that you have to do in order to defeat this level. To defeat it, to beat it, to get to the end of it. You know what I'm trying to say. And there are a ton of aliens on the moon who happen to also make the same weird sounds as, uh, you know, enemies on Earth do. Um, I found launch pad. I guess that means there's no reason for me to be around here. So, that key will, like, open up a specific door that will, uh, allow me to find, I think, the remote control so that I can use Gizmo, the robot, Gizmo Duck. To, like, bust down a wall or something? I don't really remember. Um, but hey, there's, like, a crazy pig alien or something? Ah, isn't pig alien the... The, uh, the literary version of My Fair Lady? No? Nobody got that joke? That's fine. Hey, I'm gonna kill that little octopus thing. Just, you know, aliens are very octopus-shaped on the moon. Um... But yeah, what I was saying about this level is that you, like, actually have to explore and do stuff before you can beat it. Unlike the other levels where it's just like, oh, there's a really simple path to get to the boss, and then you gotta beat him, and that's it. Oh shit, an ice cream fell down. Um, and I think, okay, yeah, this is the door that you cannot pass through until you have the key to the UFO. Aha. Bless me bagpipes! Now Gizmo Duck can blast that wall. The wall that I was just talking about. I'm glad you were listening, Scrooge McDuck. Because you certainly wouldn't have known that there was a wall without me saying that. Um, also I'm pretty sure there's a hidden treasure in this level that's like right over here. I could be wrong about that, but I am fairly confident about the hidden treasure part. Just not so confident about the over here part. And hey, <laughs> there are like single platform spikes here. Oh, bless me bagpipes again. I found a hidden treasure, which is just a square. It's a shiny square, but you know, it's a shiny square that is also, it happens to be worth one million dollars. So that's a cool thing. Uh, hey, yeah, now I can do something with a wall or whatever. Ah, I just landed right on that fool. What a jerk. He should have known that I was going to land on him, and he should have moved and taken appropriate precautions. But hey, I think you want to climb down this rope so you can get to the wall. Ooh, baby. I almost fell down. I almost fell down a hole on the moon, which I guess would be worse than just, you know, regularly falling down a hole. What did I land on there? It looked like I landed on a platform for a hot second. Oh gosh, it's gonna take me back to the most inconvenient halfway point. Okay, I could time that jump better and not be an idiot about things, I say, as I fall down on a space octopus. I could have looked, too. But hey, let's go try that again and do it less bad this time. Oh, bless me bagpipes. I landed without falling through the pit. What a great phrase, by the way. Haha, I timed it correctly. Damn, this game has some tricky timing here. Uh, I mean, I could have done it a little bit better. But hey, Gizmo Duck just showed up, shot a bullet that went right through my chest, and destroyed this wall, 
you know, to reveal a rope that I can climb down. Oh shit, and I just found 2x ice cream. I'm pretty sure these guys will like punch blocks. No, they don't punch blocks, they just jump over the obstacles. And how are we breathing on the moon, by the way? None of us have like a, uh, like a space helmet or nothing. Which is weird, because, you know, even some of the enemies in here are like, oh, I'm gonna take the necessary precautions and make sure that I can breathe on the fucking moon. Hey, so, um, the boss to this level is a rat. It's just a giant space rat. And he gives me, ah, uh, I didn't know that would happen. This weird cheese that I'm about to eat just popped right up through the floor. But it's worth a million dollars, so this must be some pretty fancy cheese. And that's it, we beat all the levels. Yeah, do a little dance, Scrooge McDuck. How much total money do I have? I don't, I didn't make the 10 million. I missed it by a good 1.7 million. Me, oh shit, I'm just throwing my treasures around. I'm making it rain right now. All land clear. Haha, -ha. if you want to get back the treasures, come to Dr Dracula Duck Manor. Why is it not Duckula Manor? I feel like that joke could have landed. But holy shit, it just takes us right back to Transylvania. What's going on right now? That statue is missing its head. Everything's slightly different. Not everything. It's like really just those two things. Um, but yeah, the last level, for some reason, you have to come all the way back to Transylvania. Ducksylvania. I mean, that could have landed too. Uh, that was a, That's a pretty simple joke to make, am I right? No, that one's not as good. But yeah, for some reason, you have to come back here. This is the final level. You pretty much just go straight to the boss room. Um, it's got the same layout as before. It's even got some creepy fucking ghosts who I happen to avoid this time. Oh, you ain't getting to me. Oh shit, it's like I learned how to play this game or something. And who's the boss of this area? Whoa! It's a dude who shoots bats at you and is really in no way threatening. That attack will like never ever hit me. How does he expect to beat me now? Get him, bats! I know, I know how that he's supposed to defeat me. He's gonna try to trick me with these bats. Yeah, he'll have one of them go way higher. He'll like fake going low, and then he'll go high. That's how he beats you. But yeah, this is like a duck vampire. This is clearly a duck vampire. I'm gonna, you know, take my time here. Not jump on that bat. Fucking hell, bat! Just be cooperative. All right, that's a little better, but I didn't uh, time it correctly. Bat? I ain't playing around with you anymore! Aha! Fuck that guy up. Did I kill him? You may have beaten Dracula, duck, but not me. If you want the treasure back, you'll have to catch me. Haha, -ha, and now I think you just want to like... You can climb super fast, by the way, you know, for a duck. You just want to get to the top of the thing before these two characters beat you there. I think if they beat you there, you get like the bad ending. I'm not even sure about that. But hey, look at this! I got a whole tub full of gold, which is weird because I don't think I saw like a single gold coin for this entire game. Oh no, I think one of the bosses gave me like a gold coin. But you know, for the rest of the game, it was like diamonds and shit. Duck Press. Scrooge remains the richest duck in the world. Daring Explorer. Scrooge McDuck has found the five legendary treasures. I couldn't read the rest of it. I can't read all that fast. Hooray, Uncle Scrooge. We're glad you found the treasures, but don't forget, we helped too. Oh, you want a cut of the profits, don't you? I don't think you helped. Like, I don't think they helped, did they? I had to rescue one of them at one point. One of them told me about Bubba, but like, I would have found that shit out on my own. Right, lads? I couldn't have done it without you. I really am the richest duck in the world. <laughs> because of family and friendship. But like, also, this money is mine. You're not getting any of it. Anyway, I fucking beat DuckTales. This game doesn't take too long. I'm pretty sure you can... Pretty sure you can speedrun this game in like under 20 minutes. So, I don't know. How long did I take? Maybe 30? 30, something like that? 
Either way, I'm glad you watched, so thank you so much for watching this short and hilariously entertaining playthrough of DuckTales on the NES. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great.